Hello and welcome to the Easy Rack Easy Learn video. In this video, we will learn how to set up the Easy Rack PLC as an Ethernet IP adapter. We shall first configure the Easy Rack PLC. Please open Easy Rack Designer Pro version 2.0 or higher. In the Easy Rack PLC Designer Pro, please either open a new project or whichever project you'd like to add Ethernet IP e adapter settings to. In this project, now go to either the Ethernet IP adapter setup in the left hand sidebar, or you can go to Setup Ethernet IP adapter setup. This is the setup needed to send mm, registers or discretes to the Ethernet IP e scanner device. You can either send a contiguous block up to 250 elements or you can send a non-contiguous block of registers which you just decide. So for my example I will use my start, motor, stop, and motor speed. Here you will see which word in the Ethernet IP scanner you're using and which bit for each of these. Also you can configure the output from the scanner or for myself I'll just use a contiguous block starting from register R10 and I will do 10 elements. Now as you see up here you will have some information about the assembly instance for input and output and the size in 16-bit words. These, this is the information needed for the, adapt, uh, for the scanner setup. Once you click OK and download to the device you have now configured your EasyRack PLC as a Ethernet IP adapter. Now please open RSLogix 5000 and create a project with the PLC you will be using as the Ethernet IP scanner. In RSLogix 5000 please open up the program you would like to use as the Ethernet IP scanner. Once you have opened up that program, please go to your I.O. configuration or wherever you have your Ethernet connection. Once there, please select and add a new module. The module we will be using for this is Generic Ethernet Module. For Generic Ethernet Module, you can name it whatever you would like. Uh, for myself, it will be EasyRack PLC. Uh, make sure for your COM format you put data int, put in the IP address of your EasyRack PLC, and now for your connection parameters, that is the information you found in your Ethernet IP adapter setup in the EasyRack Designer Pro. So for myself, input assembly instance 1111, size was 2, my output assembly instance was 102, and size was 10. And for configuration, please put 1. Once you press OK, you have now set up your Ethernet IP adapter to scanner communication. Here uh, in your connection information, you can send, uh, set up your request packet interval. 10 milliseconds is fine for my communication. Please set it up to whatever is the slowest speed you can tolerate. Now in your controller tags, you will see that you have your EasyRack PLC outputs, which are the 10 and output tags you will be communicating and your EasyRack PLC inputs. If you were to if you are to download this project to your uh, compact logic control logics, you will now see once it's downloaded that the EasyRack PLC is now communicating with your compact logics. You will see status is running and if you were to write a value to your outputs or your inputs, you will now see that value on both the Easy Rack and the uh, Compact Logics. To see the adapter to scanner communication in action, you can go online with both devices and see their communication. As you can see, I have gone online with the EasyRack PLC and I was previously online with my Compact Logics. Here, uh, once I am online, I can put in a motor speed of 300 
and I can turn on the start which will also turn on the motor which is S1 and S2. Now in the uh, compact logics you will now see that bit 1, uh, bit 0 and bit 1 have been turned on and the easy rack speed has been set to 300. Furthermore, if I put in 500 for output 0 of the E outputs, you will see 500 on the e Easy Rack PLC. Now some quick troubleshooting tips. There are two major errors that can be encountered when setting up the Easy Rack PLC as an adapter. The first major error you can encounter is if you're uh, module fault is connection request error invalid segment type. And this happens if your connection parameters on your uh, compact logics do not match the ones in your EasyRack PLC. So if you see here, I am off by one in the input size. To correct this, just make sure that the input size matches all of the connection parameters match and this error will go away. The second major error that you can encounter is if your Easy Rack uh, connection request times out. This happens if you have put in the wrong IP address, if your COM format is incorrect, or if your Easy Rack PLC is not connected over Ethernet. Please make sure to correct your IP address, your COM format, and make sure there is an Ethernet cord plugged into your Easy Rack PLC to correct this error. Thank you for watching this Easy Rack Easy Learn video on how to set up your Easy Rack PLC as an Ethernet IP adapter. If you have any more questions, please call our tech support at 1877 774 3279.